Okay, he said, considering the situation of the believers, uh, can we assume that uh, since the non-believers are plotting against the Muslims, that Allah is plotting against the Muslims? Well, there is no doubt about that. But there is a massive difference between the two situations. The first situation had Muhammad وسلم, and the companions who were deserving of the support of Allah. The question is, Allah is always ready. Allah is always there. Allah promised to support the believers with one condition. That they're firm on their, on their belief and uh, practice in their religion. Are we? Are the Muslims deserving of the of support of Allah Azza wa Jal? This is the real question. The question is not whether Allah Azza wa Jal is plotting against the non-believers. Allah is always there for the believers. But with a condition, in Allah yansurkum. If you support the religion of Allah Azza wa Jal, He will support you. Do we support the religion of Allah to deserve the support of Allah? When you have people insisting and persisting to deal in riba, when you have people who insist to have girlfriends and ladies who persist and insist to have boyfriends, and so no, see no issues in this. I'm just giving examples of some of the things that have become a phenomenon. They have been, it's not have become, it has been for decades. How many people when you tell them this is haram, Allah says this, adhere immediately without saying anything and say سَمِعْنَا وَأَطَعْنَا Rare. Very argumentative. Want to have justifications to give themselves excuses to do the wrong things. So how can someone like this be supported or expect support from Allah? He did not fulfill his, his share. Or his part to expect the part of Allah Azza wa Jal. The Muslims going through a, uh, are going through a lot, but for some of them, it's an expiation for sins. For others, it's raising their ranks in the hereafter. For others, it's bringing them back to faith. And so on and so forth. But Allah Azza wa Jal always keeps His promise. But He gives conditions. If you do this, this will happen. If you do this, this will happen. If you don't do this, don't expect it. If you go into an exam and you didn't study, don't expect the, the uh, professor to give you an A. You go and tell him, you said uh, you'll give an A. He will tell you, yes, I said whoever gets 90 and above, I'll give him an A. But if you score zero, I can't give you an A.